Where are my shoes? All right, what's going on, guys? Put on my shoes right now. We got all the orders packed. I don't know if I could show the address, but yeah, we got them all packed. Uh, the light bulbs just came. The light bulbs just came in for the um, for the 32. So I hope that the LED the LED ones work, and that we can put them in. So I'm gonna rip this package open real quick. I'll show my address in there. Yeah, so I got these uh, from Amazon. <coughs> they're like 20 bucks, so I hope that they work. Uh, also, don't have super high expectations because they're $20, but hopefully the right size and they have the correct wattage. I'll pick that up later. I didn't litter. Okay. Do that. Put that there. Okay, so here's the new harness or the new hopefully I don't know if that's gonna work, but now we're gonna We're gonna turn it up Oh, <gasps> oh my god Dude the headlights work LEDs too. That's Dude LEDs. I'm gonna blind everyone. I'm gonna kill all the motorcyclists on that No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Someone commented that at me. They're like you're gonna kill all the motorcyclists if you use LEDs, but don't worry. Okay, so hopefully this is the right, I don't know if this is the right size, it should be H3. Socket, let's see. Yeah. Ethan's gonna try to stick it in that hole. He's pretty good at that, I know. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. That's a headlight. Where, it works? Yeah, dude. dude. Actually, it doesn't look that bright. It doesn't look that bright, but. But it's also in the day, yeah. when there's like light outside from the sun. Doobie bright out. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Oh my god. Yeah, it's wor yeah, it's good. It's good. Working? Yeah, it's working. I think. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what's yeah. happening. Alright guys, now that we have the LED headlights in, I can finally drive at night. There's nothing that the police can ever pull me over for. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, this car is completely legal now with those yeah, headlights. So legal, bro. I'm so excited to drive it now. Alright, time to test both. Hey. Really? Oh my god. Dude. I wonder how they'll be at night. They don't look that bright. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you use a toggle on the that's toggle. Okay, yeah, it's still whatever. I don't I don't need high beams anymore now that I have actual headlights. Is that one dimming? Dude, that one's dimming, bro. What? Rip, dude. Alright. After fixing the headlight, which all took all of like five minutes because we just bought the wrong headlights. Rest in peace. Um <laughs> This is how I normally drive. Yeah, it's safe. We're a little, uh, yeah, it's a little, a little packed in here. So yeah. we're bringing all the orders to the station right now. But yeah, uh, we'll see if the headlights. Ethan suspects that the harness is bunk, and he wants to use the original lights, which is probably, the, probably the move. Oh, dude, I just yeah pulled the e-brake on that. I was monging. I want to get in here. <laughs> All right, guys, we're officially getting rid of all the boxes, so, you know. <laughs> all right, they're calling the ops on us. We gotta punch it out of here, man. Oh, oh no, shit! No, 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 no. Yo! Wait, no, yeah, don't swing it. There's a truck right there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying don't swing it. I'm just saying, oh, God, yeah, maybe I would swing Yeah, no, probably not. No. Yeah, I would. I would never probably do, like. We can't get banned from the I know, I know. <laughs> I would never, like, swing it or do, like, illegal activity on a private property. <laughs> actually disables all-wheel driver used to bro that still susses me out man why is it <laughs> just so you know to make it sussy less that's huh. not the ecu that's the speaker oh it is okay yep. bro, i thought that was the ecu <laughs> the whole time okay it's currently idling really high when it's when it's cold but now it's dropping slowly all right guys so as you can see the afrs are dude, look how bad that is okay Scared. It should not be. See that? No, that's no. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that on load, bro. That's super sus. Okay, see now it's kind of like. Yeah, it's just that's not pulling right, bro. We can't be pulling that high. Afrs. Afrs should be like 12. 
well. So, yeah, the car's not really running right. It needs to tune really bad. It uh, moves, though. It moves, yeah, so I think it does have, I, I think the pump's probably good. I, I don't know. I really, I honestly, I can't tell you. I think that it just needs a tune because clearly it's getting fuel because on boost at like, you know, it's still giving enough to keep it at like 13, 14 AFR. I'd like it to be at like 11, five or 12 just to be safe, but it definitely has fuel. Maybe the pump's a little weak and we have to upgrade it or I don't know. Maybe we need a hard wire. Either way, I, I, there was a lot of people saying I'm a dumbass and I just shouldn't just buy parts randomly blindly. Um, the car has a stock fuel pump and stock injectors from 30 years ago, or sorry, um, 33 years ago. So it's just something to like that I'm gonna upgrade anyway, so I might as well buy the upgraded parts now uh, versus like running it on these old parts that could fail at any point. Uh, it's just something to kind of just take precaution of. So I'm, you know, I, I, I used my brain before. It's just, this is my logic behind it. So we went to Napa and they, uh... Eric goes in and asks for rust repair and he's like, what car? He's like, oh, it's just a 1989 GTR. He asked, and I was like, uh -huh. oh, look, aux failure, bro. Oh man, it's failing. You're it's right. Crazy. Well, we made it to Lowe's alive. Now we have to get some rust reformer so we can fix the bottom the underneath. Yep, I definitely. Definitely could use some work, bro. Got the rust reformer and we got the wire brush we're gonna throw on the drill. So hopefully these two items will uh, will do it for us. It's gonna knock off the surface rust, so the, the you know the big stuff, and then we're gonna spray it with this to seal it and uh, convert the rust back to get the what's it called? Eve? Oxidation off. Oxidation off. All right, guys, we are back. It's nighttime now. Um, Ethan actually has to do work on the car, so we can't do the rust today. But we are gonna test the lights finally because it's dark outside. So. Let me turn this off and flick the, okay, FRs are finally idling decently. Okay, let's see how the headlights look. I mean, hey, 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 I mean, I mean. They're not bad. They're not bad, honestly. They're not bad. Um, they give up a good amount of light. They actually do. Let me see what it's like from the inside. Really quick, I just want to see what it's like from the inside. I mean, yes, I can definitely see. I think it may look a little brighter on camera, but it's pretty good. Um, I think I have to take it on a road with like no, as you see, there's like street lights right there. I want to take it on a road with like no street lights. So let me go pull it in somewhere. One thing I really like about this car is this. In fact, it has an actual heater and that it works. Cause it's pretty cold outside, at least for Californians. It's like, uh, what is it? It's like 40 degrees, so it's pretty cold. <laughs> Here is a good spot I'm on a main street. I know there's a lot of lights over there, but that's cause my camera's overexposing it. But that street light that's in front of me is being blocked by the tree right there. So hopefully we can get a good image of what the headlights look like. my hazards work dude my hazards do work check out the sick plate that I don't have wait yeah I mean it's a good amount of light honestly solid amount of light um, definitely more than enough that I'm used to because I don't have or do I have LED ones in my RX-7, I think I might actually. I think I do have LED ones. But yeah, these LED ones are pretty cool. Um, yeah, I really like them. They uh, they work well. All right, yo, what's going on guys? Made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much. Uh, this vlog was a little bit shorter than normal just because we got uh, we got cut on time. I mean, I had, to, like, I had worked the next morning. I literally got off work, went to do all the stuff with Ethan and then, um, you know, kind of got late and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. We're probably gonna shoot the rust reformer like tomorrow or maybe over the week. Oh no, the weekend's actually Christmas Eve. Um, I am okay. So one thing, I'm also I'm getting the RX-7 back on Saturday. I think I'm gonna drop this video tomorrow, which will be Friday morning. 
but I am dropping the video, or I am picking up the RX-7, sorry, I'm dropping the video tomorrow, which is Friday, you guys will see that, and then I'm picking up the RX-7 on Saturday, so I'll finally have that back, um, the link isn't in for the R32, so I don't really like driving it, I mean, I love driving it, but it's just like, it's weird, like, so in boost, it, like, around 75% throttle, I haven't gone, like, wide open throttle, but around, like, 75% throttle, hits, like, 12.5, like, 13 AFR, which is, like, it's, like, acceptable, but it's not, it, I'd like it to be a little richer, a little safer, just because of motors, you know, I'd, I'd rather be rich and, like, a little bit slightly less advanced than, um, timing-wise, than, you know, try to make all the power lean out and something like that. So I've been kind of putting it around and sometimes around like cruising, when I go into like second or third at like lower PM, it'll be cruising at like 15, which is a little too high, especially when there's like a slight bit of load, like a little bit of throttle, not in boost, never in boost, but just like, it just, it just damages, you know, it's just not supposed to do that. So um, yeah, some, it's, I think it's just a tune issue uh, just because when I am on 75% throttle, it is giving fuel. Um, I could feel the power and also I'm looking at the AFRs, it's not like leaning out. So um, I'm going to hold off on the injectors and pump. That is something I will do probably next month. Um, but for now, I'm just going to try to get it running on stock power with the Link ECU and diagnose if there's any like voltage issues or something like that, which the Link will read. So until then, uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. And I hope you guys have a great day and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.